Hey guys, it's Dom and welcome or welcome back if you're new to my channel, Elephant in the Room. It has been years, literally almost two years since my last video. I am definitely going to explain later in this video everything that's been happening over these past two years and, you know, kind of tell you guys my plan of getting back on YouTube and being consistent and stuff. But first, I'm actually running a little bit late. I need to go and pick up my dog from the groomer. So let's talk in the car. Okay, so before I run out the door, here's a little bit of an outfit of the day. Honestly, you kind of can't even see anything because my hair is just all in the way. Excuse the messy background. I need to clean this apartment. This hat is honestly, it's my boyfriend's. It's a Washington, uh, I think it's the Nationals. It's like the football team football oh my goodness the baseball team here he would be so upset with me for just saying that so actually literally everything i'm wearing is thrifted except for my purse this is the um saint laurent sac du jour i think this color is storm i got this last year in france for my birthday but everything else is thrifted and i got this coat last weekend from thrifting i got this sweater i love this sweater so much and these jeans i thrifted these too these are like literally my favorite jeans in the world these shoes are like these boots are just from like amazon i think these are like steve madden dupes or something like that but yeah little outfit of the day all right let's go run and get this dog guys so it is 5 p.m and i am just finishing up with work and i'm gonna head over to the grocery store now i've honestly been debating on if i was gonna go to the grocery store for like the past 20 minutes i figured out what i was gonna cook for dinner and i have everything here i'm just going to repurpose some leftovers from last night i cooked this like cheesy vegan cheese um like cajun pasta and so <clears throat> I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is just heat that up because I have a bunch of that left and Steven loves that pasta anyways. I'm just gonna heat that up and then I'm going to bread and pan fry some chicken thighs and cut that up and add it to the pasta for some protein. And yeah, I have everything here for that, but I kinda wanna go to the grocery store today because the Harris Teeter that I go to, they just uh, reset like the weekly ad and I just have this theory. I actually don't know if this is true or not, but I just have this theory that they're the most stocked on the days that like they switch over the weekly ad, right? Because it's like, if you're gonna have this weekly ad of like new deals and stuff, like I just assume they like restocked pretty recently. So I'm gonna go and do that and then I'm gonna come back and I'm going to clean. I may vlog a little bit more of the day. It's, I mean, it's gonna be pretty boring. <laughs> We're probably just gonna watch television. We've been watching The Sopranos recently. I've never seen The Sopranos before, but it's Steven's like favorite show. So we've been watching it. It's been really good. So we'll just probably just be watching that and yeah. Hey guys, so I just got back in the store. I'm gonna do a little mini grocery haul for you guys real quick. So these groceries will last me about a week. I may need to get some more meat. I didn't get as much meat as I feel like I usually do, but we'll see. Whatever happens, happens. So I got some stovetop stuffing. I mostly just got that because I feel like I rarely ever have like, I don't know, carbs, like an easily makeable carb to have on the side of dinner a lot of nights. So this is just something that's like really easy to whip up. I got some snacks. I am obsessed with Harvest Snaps. These are like my tried and true like favorite flavors, the Parmesan roasted garlic. I love these. Recently, these started being uh, sold at my store and these are so, so good. I love these and I found them in stock today because they've been out of stock for the past like week. So 
stocked up on like two of those. Couple bags of those. Some penne pasta. I have three cups of coconut or cups, uh, three cans of coconut milk. They were on sale like three for five dollars, and I basically every pasta that I make, I add coconut milk to, so that will get used for sure. And I also got a bottle of wine. This is 19 Crimes Hard Shard. I actually got that specifically for tonight. So yeah, we probably won't drink it tonight, but yeah. I got a bag of onions some sliced mushrooms. I got some, I can't believe it's not butter. I like to get this kind. So weirdly enough, the last time I checked the sticks that I can't believe it's not butter sticks are vegan. Um, I'm not vegan by the way, but I do like to eat vegan meals. I like um, just kind of having a break from meat every now and then. So I cook with this a lot some vegan cheese. I also make a lot of pasta sauces with this vegan cheese. This is my favorite vegan cheese brand. It's Follow Your Heart brand. And then I got some meat. I got these salmon fillets and I got some lamb shoulder chops. So that is my entire weekly Paul, I may need to go back and get some, well, I'm definitely going to need to go back because I need to go and get some oranges. I just didn't like the selection at the Harris Teeter that I was at, so I might go to another grocery store to get that. I need to get some more oranges. I kind of want to get some grapes if I can find some that look really good. And then I might want to get some more peppers. Uh, the ones at Harris Teeter didn't look good either. So all those things. But yeah, this is my haul. I'm gonna go ahead and put this up and then I'm gonna get started with dinner. I have some defrosted um, chicken thighs that I pre-seasoned like a couple days ago and froze them so they have just defrosted. And so I'm just going to pound them out with my meat tenderizer, bread them and cook them up. So yeah. Good morning guys. So it is Friday. <clears throat> February 10th and I'm off work today and I'm getting ready because I'm going to a conference at the National Harbor it's called the Bea conference my father is being honored at this conference um he's being honored for like best black engineer I think in like the DMV area or something like that. Um, he won that award, so I'm going to go and support him. I don't know if you guys can see this like in the camera, but do you see that little dot that's in my eye? It is bothering me so much. It's like this little boil thing. I've had it since yesterday, or it. I started feeling it yesterday, and then I thought it would just like go away when I went to bed last night, but it's bothering me so much. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to wear my contacts or not. Anyways, I am so incredibly proud of my dad for winning this prize uh, or this award. I think it's such a great honor. And as his daughter, who also is an engineer, I also work in STEM. I'm a software engineer. Like he was absolutely my inspiration for getting into this field in the first place. So it's so great that he's winning this award and getting some recognition and I'm really happy to be going there and supporting him. I'm actually really excited that this is at the National Harbor. I really like that area a lot. I was supposed to be down there in December, last December for a New Year's Eve party, but that kind of fell through. The specific hotel that this is taking place at is the Gaylord. And I actually went to the Gaylord years and years ago for my stepmom's retirement party. Um, it's such a nice hotel. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited. Just gonna do a little bit of light makeup. I'm really not gonna do a bunch because one, this like thing in my eye is just, I'm not trying to do a lot of eye makeup or anything. I think I'm just going to 
maybe fill in my eyebrows just a tad bit and then put on some sunscreen. I'm trying to decide if I want to put on some tinted moisturizer. Okay, yeah, scratch that. I am going to put on a little bit more makeup. I'm going to put on my tinted moisturizer. This is from TLB. I'm honestly not, a lot of the makeup products that I have, I'm not <laughs> super familiar with the brand a lot of times, especially when it comes to like my face, like foundation or like tinted moisturizers and stuff. I don't tend to use foundation a lot. I usually just use tinted moisturizer, but I feel like I'm always trying a new brand of that. So yeah, as long as it matches my skin tone, I'm not really concerned. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of SPF on first. This is the Hydro Boost um, Hyaluronic uh, Acid Moisturizer with Sunscreen from Neutrogena. It's SPF 50. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that on. Then I'm gonna go in with my TLB the lip bar tinted skin moisturizer. This is shade Honey Dip, by the way. I think I'm gonna put a teensy bit of concealer on and blend that out and then I'm just gonna go in with some mascara. Okay, y'all, the most tragic thing just happened. I messed up my makeup because I am running a little bit behind and I was rushing and I messed it up and I wiped it all off. So we're going like this. I'm just putting some more uh, SPF back on and this is how we're going. Honestly, this is how I look most days anyways. I don't even put makeup on most days. So they're getting me exactly as they should. They're lucky I put contacts on, honestly. I don't even wear my contacts every day. But yeah, let's go because I am running late. It's 9.30, I said that I would be there at 10.30. The National Harbor is only like 15 minutes away from my house, but I need to run. I'm gonna try and run to uh, this UPS store that's on the way because I need to print out, um, my stepmom is gonna be there and her birthday is next week and I'm not sure if I'm gonna see her next week. I'm probably not gonna see them next week. So I wanna print out um, what her birthday gift is. I got her a three month Audible subscription. Um, so I wanna print that out and then there's a giant like right next to the UPS. I wanna run in there and get a card real quick and put that all together for her so I can give it to her at the conference. We gotta do all that and then get over there. So let's go. Oh, and I need to take my dog out real quick before I leave. So I gotta go. So I am just getting back home from the award ceremony. It was wonderful. It was it was kind of just like this conference to network and it's um, STEM related. So that was like really cool. It was so nice to see so many minority um, young folks and older people too, just like professionals in general, networking and being recognized for work, you know, in STEM and yeah, as somebody who's a software engineer, it's always really great to be around that type of energy. I saw a lot of young people. There were some um, buses from colleges in the state around. So there's like a lot of that, you know, energy when like you're in college and you're trying to network, you're trying to find your first job, you're trying to make connections. And I feel like I've kind of been removed from that space for a while. So it was like cool to be around all that stuff again. And it was so awesome to see my dad be recognized. Um, that's Amazing. John Ross, Naval Air Systems Command. The ceremony was really long though. I left my house at around 9.30 this morning and I'm just getting back home now. 
I'm just getting back home and it's three, it's almost 3.30. I felt kind of bad cause like I think that they wanted to go out for dinner afterwards, but I left at like 2.30 and they weren't even finished like with the um, announcing all of the award recipients yet. And I was just like, okay, well, if I'm gonna get home and I, like, I don't know when we're gonna eat. Also, I gotta get home and like let my dog out and stuff. So I had to cut it a little bit short. On the way home, I did stop and get some groceries uh, to finish up the groceries that I didn't get from a couple of days ago. So now I'm gonna go in. I want to eat. I literally have not eaten all day. It's like 3.30, I have not eaten once today. The only thing I had was a cup of coffee this morning and that's it. So I want to go inside and eat. I'm going to get my apartment in, you know, decent shape. And then, yeah, it'll be nice. So let's, uh, let's get to. Hey guys, happy Super Bowl Sunday. Um, I did not do a lot of vlogging yesterday. It just, it kind of slipped my mind. We didn't really do much yesterday except for, um, we woke up, we kind of just like had a lazy mo morning with the dogs and stuff. And then we ended up going to the mall for a bit and did some shopping. Um, I wanted to go to H&M and I wanted to get some trousers um, and that was successful. So I got like two trousers and I got a shirt. They're actually really cute. <coughs> oh, bless me. Um, I'm actually wearing one pair of the trousers and the shirt that I got uh, yesterday, today for Super Bowl. Because we're having some people come over to the house in a couple of hours. Um, so we did that and then um, Steven wanted to get some shoes at DSW. So we went to DSW and then we came home and ate and chilled for a bit. I took a nap and then we got the dogs and we went to his place. And then we had to go grocery shopping because we needed to get, both of us needed to get a couple more items for the stuff that we were gonna cook for the party today. So we did that and then we did a bit of meal prep and then we called it a night. We had dinner, Stephen cooked, it was really good. And we watched Sopranos and then we went to sleep. This morning has been like pretty boring. It's been a really slow day. Like it's been rainy here in DC um, and it's cold. So very dreary day, not, the best day for Super Bowl but you know it's been a chill morning we've just been like watching soccer and we had some breakfast had some coffee just been chilling I just prepped the mango salsa which I will show you guys clips of that and then um, in a little bit so Steven just went to go to the gym for a little bit I'm chilling here I said I was gonna take a nap and I might still take a nap but I haven't yet <laughs> I probably won't be doing like a lot of vlogging of tonight like I might get a couple of clips and stuff but um we'll be pretty busy hosting and stuff so I will probably talk to you guys uh, for the rest of the evening I will either check in with you guys in a little bit or you'll just see clips for the rest of the night so
morning, you guys. So today is February 14th, so happy Valentine's Day. It's been a second since I've checked in. Um, I think the last I left off was getting ready. I think this was Super Bowl Sunday, so I was getting ready and doing some meal prep and stuff like that. Um, I didn't end up vlogging that night. It was just a lot going on. And then I did not talk to you guys on Monday. Honestly, I was not feeling the best after Super Bowl Sunday. Um, I actually ended up taking a sick day from work and just chilled and tried to gain my strength back. I actually wanted to check in with you guys because I wanted to do a quick little haul. I wanted to show you guys the things that I got from H&M over the weekend. Also, I got a package from Mango and I want to show you guys that. Yeah, so let's just get into it. So this shirt is actually the first thing that I got from H&M this weekend. Uh, I think it's really cute. It's pretty basic. It just says Les Jardins on it, which means the gardens. And yeah, it's pretty minimalist and it fits really nicely. Um, I like it. This is a size extra small. Yeah, it fits great. I think this will be a nice, you know, t-shirt to wear, especially as we're coming up on springtime. Honestly, I wear a lot of neutrals and I just don't wear a lot of patterns and stuff like that. I don't wear a lot of like loud type things. I'm trying to get out of that just like a little bit, but for the most part, I just wear like basic stuff. So this is in line with that and I really like this. And so the next thing I got uh, from H&M were two pair of trousers. So I will show you what those look like. Okay, and then this is the next item that I got. I got these slacks. I got these in white as well. And these are the, I'm trying to figure out what they're called. It just says elastic waist slacks, regular waist. They did have some um, high-waisted ones as well, but I got the regular waist ones. These are ankle length. Um, these, both of the, the sizes that I got um, for the white ones and these were a size four. And um, I love these so much. I think they fit like very well. Um... And I've just been wanting some slacks for a really long time. Um, and I feel like it kind of hit home for me on Friday when I went to the conference because I felt like I would have really liked to wear some slacks, but I didn't have any that like fit me really well. Um, I do have like one pair, but they're like really long. And I like the color wasn't, it wasn't giving what it was supposed to give. So I didn't wear those. And I was just like, I need to get some slacks. So that's kind of what inspired me to go uh, shopping on Saturday to go get these. So I love these so, so much. I'm still kind of debating what color this is. Like, I think this is more of like a midnight blue. Actually, now that I'm standing here and I'm like comparing it to my actual black coat. Yeah, this is clearly like midnight blue or something. So, uh, yeah, I love these a lot. They look kind of wrinkled and stuff right now because, and I have dog hair all over them because I actually wore these pants uh, for Super Bowl Sunday. So I need to wash these, but I'll show you guys what the white ones look like on. All right, and here are the white ones. I just, y'all, I love, <laughs> I love these slacks so much. Like I'm gonna wear these so much during spring, like, it's gonna be disgusting. Like y'all are gonna be sick of looking at me in these slacks, but I love them so much. They fit great. And yeah, I have um, another clothing item. This is the last thing I got from H&M, but I did get a coat from Mango and y'all, I'm so in love with this coat. Like I've been, so it's a camel coat. I have been searching for a camel coat for a really long time. I actually have another camel coat coming in the mail from another company, but I'm pretty sure like as soon as that comes, I'm going to send it right back and get the refund because this mango camel coat is just perfect. So let me show you guys that real quick. Here she is in all her glory. Oh my gosh. Every time I wear this, I just, I want to cry inside. I love this so much. This is exactly what I was looking for. I was looking for a camel coat that was oversized. So this is, gosh, I wish I remember. It's on the Mango website. I'll link it in the description if I can find the link to it. It's the belt. It's like a hundred. It, well, it's not a hundred percent wool. It's just 
the belted homemade coat. I'll link it in the description. Um, but it's oversized. So this is a size medium and it just fits so perfectly. It's like oversized, which I love. I have it kind of tied in the back right now. Um, but it does have a belt. So you can belt it. I honestly probably will never belt this coat. Like I just love it as is. Um, it's really long on me. So I am 5'1". And so this comes at like ankle length, which was really important to me. One thing I will say is, if I remember correctly on the Mango website, I could not figure out what the actual length is. Like I feel like they didn't have the length measurements up here. I might be wrong about that. Um, or at least it wasn't, it wasn't really obvious to me how long this was going to be. So I had to look at some reviews and like I did find some people on YouTube who also had this coat. So I was kind of just making comparisons and comparing their height to mine and just like figuring out where it was going to fall. Cause I really wanted one that was like a little bit longer. I feel like I have a lot of coats that come down to like right below the knee and stuff and i just wanted something a little bit longer um y'all i love this coat so much i mean i've said that a million times but i just really love it this was kind of pricey this was absolutely an investment piece i think this coat was about 200 like all together with like the shipping and like taxes and stuff like that i paid just under 250 for this coat but y'all i would do it again and as a matter of fact i'm not even gonna lie i woke up on sunday and i can't remember actually it was it was one day this weekend i woke up and i got an email that mango had just done a flash sale for like 15 percent off and i was immediately really upset because i was like i literally just bought this coat i bought this coat on friday and that's another thing as a side note, this shipping was insanely fast. I placed this order on Friday, February 10th, and it got delivered to my place on Super Bowl Sunday. And I was at Steven's house, so I didn't get a chance to get it um, and try it on or anything until on Monday. But I was literally shook that it came so quickly, especially over the weekends. Like I kind of expect that the shipping wouldn't really be moving until, I don't know, Monday or something. I didn't think I was gonna get this coat until like Wednesday or Thursday of this week. And now I can wear it for my Valentine's Day outfit, which I will show you guys that later on tonight when I'm getting ready. This coat was a little bit pricey, but it's such a quality coat. There is no lining and it's not, the type of coat where I feel like you can, it could be really, really cold. Like I'm not gonna wear this. I wouldn't wear this in any temperature below, probably below 35, possibly 40. Um, I think 40 if I like layered a lot underneath it, which I did get a size that's big enough that I can layer like sweatshirts and hoodies and stuff underneath it, but yeah it, it's not like gonna keep you super super warm but it's super cute so i think this will be great for fall and like transitionary seasons that's it for the haul that's everything that i bought i am going to go back to work it's my lunch break now <laughs> so uh, i'm gonna go back to work and then i'll probably catch up with you guys in a little bit like once i'm off of work and i am going to start getting ready for valentine's day night i don't think i talked to you guys about the plans for tonight but um steven made reservations for us at my favorite sushi place and so yeah we have reservations at 7 15 so he's gonna come over like or probably around 6 30 and then drive us over there so i'll be getting ready probably like right after work and i will talk to you guys then hey guys so it is maybe a little bit after 5 30 um, but I just took a shower, brushed my teeth, put my contacts in. I'm about to put on my makeup now. Um, but while I'm putting on my makeup, I actually kind of wanted to talk to you guys. I realized I haven't like sat down and actually talked to you guys and like addressed like why I was gone for so long and like coming back and everything. So 
I wanted to do that while I was putting my makeup and stuff on. Um, so yeah, let's just get into it. I think the last video that I posted was in, um, it was like February of 2021. And I just moved from Austin to the DC area. I was getting settled in to like my new apartment and stuff. And I believe I just gotten over COVID too. I moved in, um, I think I had mentioned I was moving in with my ex at the time. That did not work, that, did, that fell through. So yeah, fast forward to June of that year. Uh, we, yeah, we broke up. And then I went to live with my mom for a little bit, uh, for like about six weeks, I believe, um, until August. And so my mom lives about three hours south of DC. So I stayed with her for a little bit. Luckily, I mean, my job is completely remote. So I was able to just work while I was down there. And I took that time looking for like new apartments up in the DC area. And so once I found that apartment, I, you know, signed my lease and everything. And then I moved back up to DC. And that was a very peaceful time in my life um, living alone again. It was honestly everything that I needed. Um, and I really needed time with myself kind of just to get back to the things that made me happy and just really enjoying my own company again. That Those couple of months where I was just in my new apartment, living life was wonderful. Fast forward to the new year, 2022. I believe I, so 2022, was at this point in my life it was probably like the best year of my life so far it was so great um i did a lot of traveling i did a lot of just the things that i really like to do trying new things i went to a music festival in the summer of 2022 with um my cousin and my boyfriend and also i got into a new relationship uh in like spring of 2022 um so that's great obviously like that's still going on now and one of the most positive and fulfilling and healthy relationships i've ever been in so i'm really grateful for that for my 27th birthday i went on a trip a nine day it was either nine or ten day trip with my best friend to france and it was a trip of a lifetime if you guys i don't know if i've ever mentioned this on this channel but i am in love with the French culture and I've been learning French since I was in middle school. I actually still take private French lessons right now to this day. So it was literally a dream come true to go and like literally wake up on my birthday in Paris. It, that was so beautiful. I'm gonna actually just come, I'm gonna do my eyeliner real quick and then I'm gonna come back. I feel like I cannot focus, I can't multitask and do my eyeliner but I can multitask and do like my other makeup stuff. So I'll be right back. Eyeliner finished. So where was I? Um, I think Paris. But yeah, no, that was just like a really great trip. Something I've wanted to do for a while and something that I'm really glad I got to do with my best friend. 2022 was just overall a great year. I got to do, try a lot of more like outdoorsy things that I've been wanting to do for a while, but just like, really haven't done which was do more hiking i've always wanted to go camping i've been wanting to go camping for like years now and i started going with my uh boyfriend now last summer and that's been so fun we've done like multiple camping trips at this point we actually even got an annual national forest pass so that we can go to like a lot of different national forests in the area and potentially even do some road trips to some um, parks that are out of state. So that's been really fun to do. I had a wonderful holiday season. So I spent Thanksgiving with my family in um, Atlanta. So my cousin hosted it this year. So we all flew down to see her. And then for Christmas, I stayed local to the DC area. And I spent it with my boyfriend's family. And that was like so great. And then we just did New Year's Eve uh, at home together. We were originally going to go out 
for New Year's Eve. Like I've never, I've never done anything like going out for New Year's Eve. I know people go to like clubs and all this kind of stuff and I've just never done that. I've always just watched the ball drop like with my family. So we were gonna go do that and then those plans ended up falling through. So actually what we ended up doing, which I loved, was we we just cooked like a really nice New Year's Eve dinner together. Both me and Steven love to cook. So we've been doing this thing recently. We haven't done it in a while. We'll probably pick back up this, but we have this butcher near us that has like all these different meats, all these different like, you know, kind of special and not everyday meats that you just see in the grocery store. So we went in there once and we were just like, oh, we should do this thing where every now and then we like do a date night where we just like cook a new recipe using one of these like interesting meats. So anyways, that's what we did for New Year's Eve. We actually cooked duck and that was a really fun experience. And that was how 2022 kind of ended. There was lots of love. There was a lot of traveling. There was a lot of just joy and happiness that I haven't experienced in a really long time, not to that level. I mean, I feel like I'm always like a happy person, but just really being able to do the things that I wanted to do um, and be around people that I love was mind blowing. And it was just such a special thing for me. And I'll always hold 2022 in high regard. So I'm hoping to do all that stuff in 2023. So anyways, that kind of leads us to here now. It's February and um, I have a lot of travel planned for this year, actually. I have like three plans that are basically already like kind of confirmed. And then I have two other plans that are kind of in flux. So I'm hoping to bring you guys along with my travel plans this year. But yeah, YouTube has always kind of been in the back of my mind. Like I have been wanting to get back up here and film because um, I definitely so before I was doing a lot of like financial and budgeting videos and I've still been doing that stuff since I've been gone off of YouTube so there's been like a lot of times where I was just like oh I really want to get up here and like film me create you know doing my budget for this month or closing out my budget and it just like always got away from me and there was just always an excuse but I don't know the other day I was on Instagram and I saw this reel that was just really inspirational and I don't know who the content creator is, but it was just this reel that was just like, hey, you know, if you make content and you're kind of in a rut right now or you just like can't seem to get back into the swing of things, he was just like, just do it. like you're in your head about like trying to make your comeback perfect or make your content perfect and you're in your own way and that getting content out is better than getting out perfect content and that's kind of just like how i felt like every time i was thinking about filming again i was like oh i need to like get my camera out and i'm always losing my charger or like i have always misplaced my batteries and all this kind of stuff and I was just thinking to myself like I'm making this too hard and if I really want to do this then you know I shouldn't let equipment and I shouldn't let things like that like impede me and slow down my progress so that's actually why this entire vlog and probably going forward a lot of my vlogs are just going to be filmed on my iPhone because that's just more convenient for me. Filming with the iPhone is just so convenient. I always have it with me and it's always charged and yeah the only thing is I need some more storage on my phone, but that's not the biggest deal. So yeah, that's kind of it. I've wanted to come back and life has just kind of gotten in the way, but I'm not making any more excuses. Like I'm going to be back up here. I'm going to be doing like vlog content like this every once in a while. I'm still going to be doing my budgeting videos. I'm going to plan on closing out my February budget with you guys. I didn't make it or open it with you all, but I'll close it out with you guys and then I'll start my March budget with you all. I'm really excited because March is my birthday month. So that'll be fun. I actually don't really have any plans for my birthday this year. I'm not really gonna do anything. What I'm actually more excited for is April because that's me and my boyfriend's anniversary. And we have a trip coming up to Cape Cod 
that I am so excited for. I went on a trip last year in September with a group of my friends to the San Juan Islands in uh, Washington state. And that was so nice. And I don't know why, but like being in the Pacific Northwest, it kind of reminds me of like the New England area. And I'm like, oh, I really want to go up to like Cape Cod and stuff. And I love beaches and I love like Cape Cod homes. It's probably like my favorite style of home. So I just want to go up there, have some good clam chowder, visit Martha's Vineyard, visit Nantucket. I think that'll be so nice. So we're really excited for that trip. I'm excited to bring you guys along too. So that's honestly it. Um, that's kind of my whole spiel on why I was gone and stuff like that. And I'm definitely going to be more consistent. So definitely stay tuned for that. Okay, so I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup. I still need to do my eyebrows and I don't know, I might put a little bit more concealer on, but I don't know, maybe not. Um, put some highlighter on, do my lips, and then I'll come back with you to you guys when I am uh, putting on my outfit for the evening. So see you guys then. All right, this is the finished makeup look. Uh, sorry, it looks a little wet because I just finished spraying um, setting spray all over, but this is the look. What I have on my lips is I have this Revlon lipstick in mink in the face. See that now? Is it gonna focus? Well, anyways, it's mink. Um, Revlon Super Lustrous <laughs> Lipstick in creme mink. It's six seventy one, and then <clears throat> on top of it, I have Fussy Heat by the Fenty Beauty. So that's what I'm going for tonight. And then let's go ahead and put on the outfit. Okay, and I'll give you guys the full outfit reveal in a second. This is a dress um, that I'm wearing and I'll show it with the coat. But I wanted to tell you guys what kind of jewelry I was wearing. So I honestly am wearing, I can't find one of my favorite rings right now that I really wanna wear, but I'm wearing this, I don't know if you can tell, this kind of like orange simple ring. I got this from a boutique in Paris when I was there for my birthday last year. And I'm also just wearing this like kind of plain band. I think I got this from Amazon, um, as well as my Tissot Flamingo watch. And then I, my necklaces are, this is just like a flat chain necklace that I got off of Amazon. I don't even know the brand. And then this is just a cross ne necklace. I got this from Alex and Annie. And yeah. These are the earrings I'm going to be going with. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, these are the earrings that I'm wearing. I don't know if you could tell they have like this little black onyx in them. But I also got this from the same boutique in Paris that I got this from. And I love these earrings so much. They're really cute. I love to wear these when I'm like wearing black and stuff. So anyways, let me go and show you guys the full outfit together. Okay, and this is the full outfit. Honestly, I wish I could tell you guys where a lot of this stuff is from, but like this dress I got off of Amazon and I'll try to link the dress below if you guys like are maybe interested, but yeah, it was just like a normal, like, I think I just typed in long sleeve short dress and this is what it came and I kind of like these little strings. These are cute. And then these are the boots that I'm wearing. These are... These are, I think, Franco Sardo boots. They're kind of, they're not completely square, but I don't know, they're chunky and they're kind of low. Like I don't do well in high heels at all. Like they need to be chunky or they need to be low or I just can't do it. Or I need to have like backup pair and I'm not trying to be comfortable <laughs> or uncomfortable on date night. So this is the outfit I'm going to pair it with my camel coat so i'll show you that full look okay and this is how the whole outfit looks um i literally put this outfit together this morning so i think i did pretty good i didn't want to wear this uh my sac de jour bag at first because i really wanted to wear my cafune wallet bag i love this i got this for my birthday last year but it's kind of small 
like it's a wallet bag and I kind of have some stuff for Steven that I want to give to him at dinner so this bag is just a little bit more practical because it has more room but yeah so I'm all ready Steven should be here in a little bit and then yeah we're gonna go eat and I'm starving I am going to chill here probably clean up my place because I'm sure you can tell that my place is a disaster right now so I'm gonna do a little bit of cleaning up before he gets here and then yeah maybe I'll see you guys at the restaurant maybe I won't we'll see it's the next day and I realized I never close out the vlog I know I didn't get like a bunch of film from last night but honestly it was pretty low-key like we went out for sushi and that was absolutely delicious had some sake and then came back home and we watched a movie I think we watched Evan Almighty and we baked some cookies and that was it and we just went to bed so yeah, that's going to be it for this vlog. I'm excited to get more content out and be more consistent on this channel. So definitely subscribe and stay tuned and comment down below. And if you guys liked this like vlog style content, I know this is like probably going to be really long. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts on the vlog and getting out more content like this. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.